Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome to another episode of Parallel Programming. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about Thread Building Blocks. So Thread Building Blocks is a library from Intel that contains a number of nice features for writing scalable parallel applications. So this includes things like generic parallel algorithms, concurrent containers, and a task scheduler. And the nice thing about libraries like Thread Building Blocks is that they help us avoid a lot of the software engineering overhead of reinventing the wheel. So instead of say writing our own parallel scan or our own concurrent vector, we can just use one from the library that will likely be as efficient or performance time, uh, performance wise, very similar to something that we could write ourselves. But again, without all the software engineering overhead. So let's take a look at a quick example of using thread building blocks. And we'll start by looking at some baseline code that we might want to parallelize. So here I've got a very simple main function I create two vectors of 2 to 20 elements. Uh, then I fill them with some random numbers between 0 and 255 using std generate. Then what I'm going to be timing here is the time it takes to call std sort twice. So we'll sort vector 1, then we'll sort vector 2, and we'll get the time it takes for both of these calls. Then uh, we'll go ahead and print out the total execution time at the end in milliseconds. OK, so let's go ahead and compile this. Uh, using GCC with O3 optimizations enabled. You'll see how long it takes for both of these calls to sort. And we can see it takes somewhere on the order of 63, uh, 64 milliseconds. So somewhere on that time frame. Okay, so because you know sorting you know vector one and sorting vector two are completely independent of each other, let's try to parallelize it with the TBB. So let's open up our TBB example. And the only major changes that we need to make is to include this parallel invoke.h header. And then after our setup code, where we create two vectors of 2 to 20 integers, uh, fill them with some random numbers between 0 and 255 in uniform random distribution, instead of directly calling std sort, we're instead going to uh, use tbb parallel invoke and pass uh, both of these calls to std sort to this parallel invoke uh, using lambdas. So this parallel invoke will take care of both creating threads, uh, joining the threads, and waiting for both of these calls to complete before we continue on with our program and get our finish time and print out the execution time in milliseconds. Okay, so let's see if we actually got a performance speed up here using thread building blocks. So let's compile our TBB example with O3 optimizations. And the only other change we need to make is to go ahead and link against lib thread building blocks because we're using this library. Okay, we'll go ahead and run, and you can see that we got about a 2x uh, speed up, so pretty good. So somewhere on the order of, you know, 31, 32 milliseconds for sorting both of these vectors uh, instead of the 64, 63 milliseconds it was taking last time. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. A brief introduction to using uh, thread building blocks. As always, you can find any of this code at github.com slash coffee before arch under the parallel programming repository. And as always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.